So here we are. I had a big delivery of Crestron kit. And I'm just going to unbox two items here to show you what I've got. Um, so let's open up this first one and uh, see what it is. So again, some people were guessing what it might be. Some people didn't guess. Uh, so let's open this one and uh, we can see what it is. So this is not what you might think it is. Um, it's something I want to I want to test to uh, show what is possible with the Crestron Ranger kit. So shipping, and it's what is this? It's something got a USB connection. What might this be? Well, that's that one. Now let's have a look at this box. On this one, I've already. Split this seal, and what we have here is a 7 inch touch panel. So, in the box, we have this uh, Crestron 7 inch touch panel, and we have a uh, mounted bracket. So, it's a two gang mounted bracket, and we're going to mount it somewhere. So, what we want to do with this is take it out of the box, and uh, actually, we probably want to stand for it. And uh, I'm sure there's one of those already in the box. It is, give it some POE. So let's plug this in and get it on the network. So it's got the film on it, and I am going to remove that because, let's face it, you gotta, you got to take it off. So while that boots up, let's uh, unpackage the light bar. So what this is... This is a status indicator that goes around the edge. So this enables you to uh, show availability, green and red. So when you can look down your corridor, you can see if there's a room available um, to go and use, book out, etc. So here we have the light bar here. This side up, apparently. Now, I've never used one of these. Um, it looks pretty slick. And I'm guessing it hooks in here. So take the uh, panel, take the little uh, connector, and connect the two together. Nice and simple. And then we will uh, connect that into the back of the panel in a minute. So, as I say, this can be mounted anywhere, POE, and it works in several modes. Now, this is a 7 inch touch panel. There's also a 10 inch touch panel, so depending on the size, and it's available in white or black. Now, for the Microsoft Teams Room systems, we use the 10 inch version, and it's the black touch panel that we supply. So, some people actually ask, can we use a 7 inch panel with the uh, Microsoft Teams Rooms, the Flex products? And the answer is no, unfortunately. The resolution, um, which we need, is 1200 by 800 for memory isn't available on here, so we have to use the, the tenant touch panel, I'm afraid. So, now this is available to run in several modes, depending on your applications. So if you have uh, Native Exchange or Google Calendar, then it can talk directly to it in the Crestron default mode. If you're using a third-party uh, scheduling or booking tool, such as AppSpace, Team, and one of 12 different others that we support, then that is possible to do that. So you can see it says calendar offline. Of course it is, it's brand new out of the box. Uh, Schedule an account. Now, the nice thing here is I've got the IP address. So I can now go to a browser and log in and be able to configure this. So being able to get it online and uh, we can check out the firmware versions on 203. I know the new version is 207. so. That's one thing we'll do is upgrade that as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll do a screencast and we'll add this in as well. Showing you how I'm configuring this. So this will be side by side. So we'll go to our settings and we'll go to our scheduling. And we're going to choose our source as exchange. And then we're just going to pop in our email, our, our address. And I'm going to use actually the same identity as and Microsoft Teams Room, so it's consistent. So what you see outside the panel is exactly the same as what's inside the room. Consistency, 
so you don't need uh, different accounts. So you've got the same one inside the room and outside the room. So people only have to invite one resource. So I'm just putting in the password and I'll exchange web services URL. So now it's signed in and you can see I've already got a meeting and it's reserved for the next 46 minutes. So uh, you can see it is the organizer of Flex Teams Room 5 uh, has reserved the room. So now you know who the attendees are, who's meant to be in the room. So this is really nice to understand who's got the room, why aren't they in there? Very good point. So what I can do from here, uh, I can end it early. I've got uh, the ability to change the uh, visibility. So if you're visually impaired, that will help you. <clears throat> uh, so you've got the room name up here. You've got date and time. And all this wallpaper, all this can be customized to how you want it to be uh, shown, for example. Modify this how you want it and when you want people to do uh, walk-up bookings, for example. So if someone wants to uh, extend the meeting, etc., they can do that from here. You can set the defaults from the uh, web page. A humongous amount of configuration, should we say, to uh, set this up. One of the blog posts I've done is how to uh, use Power Automate or Flow. And so when you do a walk-up meeting, book it now, and then it actually automatically creates a Skype meeting. I need to work on it for Teams, so as you then go and sit down and be at the MTR in the centre of the table, you have the meeting invite. It takes a minute or two, but it's at least it's a nice way to do that. This is the touch panel, uh, native to Exchange, and it's nice and simple to um, configure, set up. Actually, you can actually make them portrait as well. Um, you can change there, and again I can change the theme, so let me just change that for you. And that's going to, yeah, you have a light theme. And, uh, okay, this is annoying me now. There we go. That's better. So, I'm now going to actually show you how to connect in the, the light bar. So, in the uh, little envelope that comes in the packet, there's two little screws. And we just position that over here. And secure and then what we can do is plug in the USB connection so that's now connected in so this way around because then that sits flush on there and then that's the correct way around look at that how cool is that disco disco so now you can see it's red because the meeting's there. Now if I go and end this meeting, do I want to end it? So now that's actually going to cancel an exchange because I've set it up. You may want to disable that feature. And it's now gone uh, green. So the nice thing now is, is that this room is now available for walk-up. Now one thing you may know in your organisation is people will always book a room but will they always cancel it? Maybe not. So you could use some of the proximity occupancy sensors that Crestron have as well to automate if the room's empty, release it. So that's another additional feature that you could do. Um, but me as a walk-up, I can now say, OK, I want to book the meeting. And again, you can define the times here in the config. So whether it's direct to the IP address of the panel or through XIO, the um, Azure IoT hub that we have at Crestron, I could say I only wanted to go every half hour, so until 10.30 and then till 11, etc. So it's on the hour, uh, so you can have rounded times. So now I can reserve the meeting room straight away, and it's going to reserve it as me, as the uh, Flex Teams Room 2, and it's a walk-up meeting. So that's the default that's set in there once I walk up and book it. Another feature is if you want to book the room so it's not uh, available now, you can scroll ahead another time and reserve it at a later date so if you want to book it out afterwards again you can then walk up and go and book it for that extra time so a quick example of how to uh, change the theme background here has a default and there's several options of active screen when reserved idle screen when reserved the active screen when available and the idle screen when available so what I can do I can uh, end this meeting so end it now meeting becomes free Again, that, can, that is configurable, how quickly you can end meetings. So now the room is free, that's the idle screen. Now let me just enable a background. So when the 
and actually you can actually show videos here as well so you're able to show short video clips on here but now I've got Santa so you can put whatever logo you want there change that to a video you know have a promotion have today's menu whatever you want in the background um, it's a JPEG or a video so it's nice and easy to to do that so maybe if you've got some other digital media products in there you could have that streaming to there as well but you can also put in a video clip and it's the WebM format so I've got a sample that I've uh, got from the uh, WebM uh, portal and I click save to activate the file and now you can see it's playing the trailer so there's a video clip of some bunnies jumping around, it's a bit early for Easter, but hey ho. Um, you can play video clips on there, so again, nice and easy to put a URL, and it can play the active clip, so that could be your marketing video for your corporate uh, information, so you can again display up-to-date information on the touch panels when they're not in use, or even when they are. So that's how simple it is to have this, so it's a really nice way to spruce up your meeting room, um, add productivity so you can see what rooms are available and easily cancel them as well. You're able to use the scheduling panels wherever you want in your organization, pair it with the same meeting room ID as the MTR and you've got a nice end-to-end -end solution. Thanks very much.